thank you for the redneck and the hippie, Earl. Oh, you know, you know, you got it, you got it, man. That's I needed a way to express myself. Already, man, already. And I want to thank everybody that listened and came along for the ride. Too, and for Appreciate those that just like the flashy, <laughs> I'm nah. sorry. I'm sorry. Appreciate you, King. If you look at rap in terms of musical terms, in terms of music like classical music, classical music has compositions that are 300 years old, whereas rap is still defining itself right now. Rap is... Go ahead. And as we know it, as, as most of this mainstream knows it, it may be 40 to 50 years old. So rap is still defining itself. It's still making genres and categories to go. I'm, I'm making music for, for, for people. My music is basically set up for people who pay bills, people who got kids, people who are trying to get their kid into college. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my man who want to work and come home at the end of the day, put an honest day's work in and want to sit back and drink beer and have a steak. You know what I'm saying? You're damn right I do. Hit him, King! To me, okay, to me, honestly expressing yourself. Now, it is very difficult to do. I mean, it is, it is easy for me to put on a show and be cocky yeah. and be flooded with a cocky feeling and then feel like pretty cool and all that. Or I can f- make all kinds of phony things, you see what I mean? Blinded by it. Or I can show you some f- really fancy movement. But to express oneself honestly, not lying to oneself, and to express myself on this that, my friend, is... <laughs> that is the reason I do what I do. That's why I put you as part two. Like I said, hit him, King! You know, the music industry is just a microcosm of the world. So whenever you stand for something and you stand for goodness and truth, you will always get resistance. That's period. You know, five years ago, I was so thin-skinned. Whatever anybody said would just, oh, my God, they don't like this rhyme and all my songs. And, uh, you know, and then one day I woke up and it was like my, my skin was just, it was so thick, it was impenetrable by those fiery darts, it just, they just had no effect. And I realized that that was a strength and a confidence that only, only came from a higher source. A higher source. That's why the hippie and the red neck came about. Hit him, King! Empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. <laughs>